Um, but in this case, for this problem, all we're simply going to do is break this apart. And so this asks you to use the sum or difference angles, um, sum or difference formulas. So I realize that I can add this, I can break this apart into tangent of, let's see, 3 pi over 12 plus 2 pi over 12. Would everybody agree with me on that? Yes? Therefore, I can rewrite this as the tangent of, I can simplify that to pi over 4 plus pi over 6 when it is simplified. Now, if you guys remember in the sum and difference formula, what I told you guys to do was label this as your u and label this as your v. Then, as you take your formula sheet, the sum and difference formula for tangent, or the sum formula, is tangent of u plus tangent of v divided by 1 minus tangent of u times tangent of v. So that's all we're simply going to do. I'm going to have the tangent of pi over 4 plus the tangent of pi over 6 all over 1 minus tangent of pi over 4 times the tangent of pi over 6. So all I did was I plug in, plug in those angles and into the formula. Is everybody OK with that? Now we obviously need to simplify using the um, unit circle. So I have two angles, pi over 6 and pi over 4. I always remember pi over 4. That's like the easiest one to remember. And pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Now, tangent is y over the x coordinate, right? So y over x of pi over four, uh, y over x for this one is just going to equal to one. Over here, you're going to have one half over the square root of three over two. And I remember by simplifying this because I've done this multiple multiple times, that's equal to the square root of three over three. So now I'm just going to evaluate everything. So tangent of pi over four is one, plus tangent of square root of three over three is three divided by 1 minus 1 times the square root of 3 over 3. Does everybody see how I just replaced each tangent of an angle for its value based on the unit circle? Does everybody understand? Now, the difficult part, or the not fun part, is the simplifying. So let's rewrite this as 1 plus square root of 3 over 3 all over 1 minus square root of 3 over 3. Okay. We have fractions inside fractions, right? Yes? We don't want fractions inside fractions, do we? So if I want to get rid of dividing by this 3, I should multiply by 3. And as long as you guys, as long as you do that to the top and the bottom, you're not changing your answer. You're not changing that expression. So by applying distributive property, I get 3 plus the square root of 3 divided by 3 minus the square root of 3. But then we don't want to divide by the square root of 3 by square roots, do we? So if we want to get rid of the square root and it's a binomial, we would need to multiply by the starts with the c conjugate. the conjugate. It's a binomial form. So if we want to get rid of the radical, you got to multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate would look like this. And the reason why the conjugate works is because now that perform that gives us a difference of two squares, which now I can multiply this all out. When I multiply my numerator, I'm just using FOIL. Okay, by using FOIL, I get nine plus two radical three plus three all over. Here I get a difference of two squares, which again, if you guys remember, is just like multiplying the first two terms and the last two terms. I can put that in parentheses. So I get 9 minus 3. And then I would simplify everything else. 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 2 square root of 3. And then 9 minus 3 is 6. And then, guys, can we simplify this one last time? Sure. You can divide the 6 and through the top and the bottom. So therefore, actually, we can just divide out a 2 in each one. So therefore, I'd have 6 plus square root of 3 over 3. Yep. 
Mr. McLogan. Where? Right here. here? These two? Three times three is nine. So the left side is ten. Did you catch your error or you don't want me to explain further? Because, like, I see why you didn't catch your error. I wouldn't, what do you mean cancel out? What's cancel? What's. <clears throat> like, I guess I just like the interpretation of things. Okay. All I'm saying is for the top and the bottom, you could do foil. And if you want to do if you want to do foil to the side, do foil. Three times three is nine, right? Three times square root of three. Oh shoot, I actually messed that up. That's six square root of three. Good catch though. I was wondering why that was wrong. So that's six square root of three. So that becomes that six does divide into there, which becomes two plus the square root of three. Good catch. Good catch. Do you see what I'm doing? I did. I factored in my. I foiled in my head wrong. Three times square root of three is nine. Three times square root of three is three square root of three. Three times square root of three is three square root of three. What's three square root of three plus three square root of three? Six square root of three. And then square root of three times square root of three is three. Mm -hmm. No, not following me. What's three x plus three x? Three x plus 